Welcome to the C-Suite at the Open video series with TMX Group. I'm Arnie Goldstein, Head of Company Services based out of Vancouver. Joining me today is Jack Lundin, the Chief Executive Officer of Bluestone Resources. Um, welcome, Jack. It's a, it's a pleasure to speak with you today. Thanks, Arnie. It's a pleasure to be online with you today. Jack, can you tell me a little bit about your background and uh, when you joined Bluestone? Absolutely. So I joined Bluestone in January of this year, so quite recently, about four months on the job. And prior to working with uh, Bluestone Resources, I was working at uh, Lundin Gold on the development of the flagship asset for Lundin Gold, which is the Fruta del Norte uh, Gold Project in southern Ecuador. Um, so I'm a mining engineer by trade and uh, looking, uh, looking forward to this next opportunity with Bluestone. Can you tell us about Bluestone's elevator pitch? Uh, tell me about the business. Absolutely. So, so Bluestone Resources has a flagship asset called the Cerro Blanco Gold Project located in southern Guatemala. And this project actually already had about $170 million sunk into it for various infrastructure activities by the previous owner, which uh, was formerly Gold Corp. We picked up the project in May 2017. Uh, and since then, we've, we've come out with a feasibility study that demonstrates very robust project economics. It's a high grade gold deposit and a near term producer, which will really elevate us and turn us from a uh, you know, single asset junior gold developer into a uh, gold producing company in as little as two and a half years. Oh, that's great. Um, can you tell me what some of the near term catalysts may be that's going to affect your business and what opportunities you see? Yeah, so we released a feasibility study in January 2019. Since then, we've embarked on a pretty extensive infill drilling campaign to further define the resource and, and gain confidence on that resource. We're right now in the phase of basic engineering and project readiness activities. So towards the end of this year, about Q4 of this year, we'll come out with a project readiness update, which will really be a re-estimation of the uh, capex and operating costs and provide the blueprint for development. So we're targeting development activities toward the end of this year and really kicking off initial construction in the first quarter or second quarter of next year. And in about 14 to, to 18 months from when the pre-construction uh, pre begins, we'll be looking to, to get into production and have that first gold pour targeted for uh, second half of 2022. Well, I look forward to hearing about that. Um, Jack, how would you sum up the investment proposition for Bluestone? Well, really, it, it comes down to the project economics. We have very robust project economics, a very low unit cost, thanks to the high grade nature of the deposit and the infrastructure that's already in place. And so we're going to be leveraging off of the work that's already been done. But really what this project has and what it presents to us is the opportunity to generate a significant amount of free cash flow, which will then put us in a position to grow the business and actually look at, you know, putting more money into the ground and organically growing within Guatemala. So once we get Cerro Blanco into production, we'll be looking at using that free cash flow generation to put back money back into the ground and, and growing the, the company into a multi-asset producer. Well, that's fantastic. Um, based on your experience, do you have any advice for companies right now during these unprecedented times? Well, every company is, is in a unique situation, depending on where your operations are and the size of your company. It's hard to give advice to, to our um, peers. However, what we are doing is, you know, we're, we're trying to take this day by day we have crisis management calls in the morning and in the afternoon. We're really looking at what's going on in the countries that we're operating in. So the head office is in Canada and our primary project is in Guatemala. And so we're working with the you know, local and federal governments to, to understand kind of the, the protocols in place. And we're trying to work with our local community members to support them during these tough times. And when things do start to open back up, we'll be ready and we'll be going back and spending more time at the project site and really ramping up for construction. 
So, you know, for, for what we're doing is just monitoring the, the environment and uh, really trying to work with the, the scenario that, that is presented to us at that time. So COVID-19 presents a lot of uncertainties, but we can just make sure that we're prepared for when things do get better to, to ramp back up. Thank you so much for joining me today, Jack. I uh, look forward to hearing more uh, about Bluestone in the future. Thank you very much for having me.